Well, it's about so 11.30. McDonald, first day. We're not doing very much. This job here was supposed to uh, start yesterday. And what they're doing yesterday is today. And now the people who are smarter than everyone else, because they wear a suit and work in the office, don't want to do an undercut. So they got to wait for the soil engineers to come tomorrow and uh, um, what do they do to that? Do they actually take soil out and inspect it and all that or do they just should look take at it? take a core sample. So I'll have to bring a drilling rig? I don't know about that. It should go that deep. Yeah. You should just take a sample of it. And then they gotta, they don't want to do an undercut here. They just want to lay it over the top and apparently you can't do that around here. I don't know enough about all this stuff. I'm not from here. So instead of undercutting four feet, which is like 7,000 yards, they just want to bring in, what, four or 6,000 shale and cap it and then put the building on top of it. And Mark was just saying that around here, uh, the water table sits on a shell layer that's a couple feet below the ground. And then when it's wet, um, the water table comes up and softens everything. There's Glenn's shop. Our mechanic guy. He's not even there. Um, so, really should undercut it apparently and then lay in 10,000 yards. So it'd be backfill plus, uh, what, 14 inches on top or whatever it is on top. And then, you know, then build a building, but they don't want to do that. So, been kind of a weird day. Called him in, said, hey, let's get to Holland. And then they go, nope, not Holland. Now we're just running around taking care of stuff. Went and dropped the dually off to go get its um, uh, recall done. Then I think we're gonna wash some trucks and take care of a few things and do that sort of stuff. And probably for the rest of the day because everything went to shit. So I don't know, maybe we'll go to Clarksville. See how it goes. But I was hoping today was gonna be busy and nope. Then probably not tomorrow either. I have to wait until uh, Friday. See how that goes. So, yeah, it is what it is. So we'll see what we do the rest of the day. We got the CBs in both the trucks. They work, sound good. Everything you want out of CB. Now we're just kind of hanging, hanging out a little bit. Boss just got here. Kind of seeing what to do next. I need to park the haul truck back, close the gate. I think that's it. So, didn't involve very much. No point, we are just installing the radios and then I uh, did an interview with the guy. You sound pretty good, right? Sound like a pretty good guy? Yeah. You know, young kid. Um, had a baby last night. Um, I like him. And I don't know if we need a ground hand, another ground hand right now. There's a couple jobs that are up in the air to be able to, you know, say, yes, we can, we can hire a guy versus like, we can hire a guy and be like, well, we didn't get the job and blah, blah, blah. So, um, there's a little bit up in the air on that. So I, I took him over to Hodges and got him an application to drive a tow truck there. Um, and talked to Jeff. I was like, Hey, you should hire this guy. And he's like, well, we just hired someone, but I don't know if he's going to work out. So yeah, we're interested. So one way or another, hopefully I can help find that guy a job. But for now, uh, we'll see how it goes. But today's been a boring day. Been a boring day for both of us. His first day today, and we basically did nothing. You know, the most part. piddly stuff. Stuff around here, stuff that needs to get done that wouldn't have gotten done otherwise. But the job we were supposed to be on today, they're, what they were doing today, they were supposed to be doing yesterday. And then, so then we're like, great, we'll start hauling tomorrow. And they're like, well, we can't. And then since he's works for us every other week, if we can't work him, we got to tell him so he can go, you know, you, cause you have another kind of side gig, right? Our friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so now this job's held up for us to haul on it. And that's what he was going to do. So it's like, it's kind of putting in this weird limbo and maybe Ben just got back, so maybe we can ask him and he actually has an answer now, but 
it's just like what was supposed to be done today yesterday is today and then so then yes we can start tomorrow well no the soil engineers got to come back and they're changing the program of blah 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 and we're just like dude come on like you know we got all these people just sitting around waiting for you to say let's go and then we're not on other jobs waiting for this one to kick off so i really hope it gets going but we'll see but for now i think uh i don't think we're gonna do anything else today really and then see what tomorrow brings but it's nature of this business you know tomorrow or the next day could kick off and then all of a sudden it'll stop and then pick up again and stop and pick up again so i just don't know how this is going to end up working out but we're supposed to be working today and we're not just nature of the nature of this business so for now see how it goes but hey the cb sound amazing super clear very little noise with our higher end cbs modern ones with the um uh solid state board you know just really cool little things so i'm real happy i picked those particular ones out they're called um they're by president and they're called mckinley's so they have upper and lower sideband on it 200 bucks really great radio so pretty happy with them but eh, for now i guess we'll do a couple random other things and then probably call it a day well today has been an interesting day now running into Leonard's I uh was working with Donald the most of the day today and we uh got a bunch of stuff done especially with his help I'm supposed to work him today but the jobs got put off and you guys heard about all that kind of stuff and now we're uh might be in a holding powder, might not, don't know how that is, but I need to grab a couple of things, so I'm gonna run in here and uh, grab a brush and uh, oh, a couple other things real quick. It didn't work. Waited for a few minutes to see if he can make a payment. It sounds like he's probably on the phone or busy or something, so I'm not gonna stand there and wait for him, so I'm leaving. I'm hungry and I still got need to go get um, the uh, cold weather gloves from Walmart. And this is probably gonna be one of the last few days that I can actually go on a scooter ride for the next foreseeable future. So I think we're gonna eat dinner, go on a scooter ride, and then go probably over to Walmart to go get cold weather gloves in there. I don't wanna sit and wait. So for now, we'll go do all this. Uh, Hopefully we'll get a scooter ride in. Man, I've been itching to go on that scooter for a while. This guy's right in the way. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving wheels going on. And that uh, Clarksville demo might be going on here pretty quick too. So I asked him if I can demo part of it and he's like, well, I don't know, maybe, hopefully. I'm like, please. Really want to do it. But a couple miles from home, go for eat, scooter ride, Walmart, do some scooter work, go to bed. Should be a, better, a little bit better of a night. So hopefully we're gonna cut to scooter ride and a GoPro on the head mobbing around in the dark because of the stupid time change on the scooter. So, cut to scooter ride. Scooter ride time. You really think people work at Walmart are gonna give two fucks? Well, yeah, there's some.
Well, it's the first of the month. First paycheck of the month. is a scam. I hate that commercial. Huh? I don't even know who it is. Oh my god! Okay. You're gonna take those two. How am I gonna hold this? You, you should have got you should have got in a single bag, not in a, both in one bag. Because you can't put this on the scooter. So it's I need not in one bag. Well it's already torn. Scare all the birds away. How's El Pastor? Good. Pretty good. It's a little spicy. Um, Not too bad. store. Not too much pineapple though. Okay. Should I that as a taco, burrito? Burrito. burrito. Should have said that. Uh, just rice beans, nothing else. I'm allergic to everything else. No cheese either, right? 
Cheese is fine. Cheese is fine? Oh, white just cheese. Just no veggies. No yeah. veggies. Yeah, I don't like those super gooey, drippy cheese burritos. Ooh, I do. I like it. I just like a little hint, a little flavor to it. I cheese on a burrito, they're not that quite bad. Okay. Yeah, they have a decent amount. You guys ever going to get a brick and mortar location? I don't know. Um, maybe not just yet, maybe in a couple more years. Yeah, we, we're going on our second year. Yeah. Next year. Yeah, you guys seem, they're kind of hit and miss to be open. Last little bit. I mean, yeah. Because we live literally just on the other side of the trees right here. Okay. So we, she comes by and she's like, hey, they're open today. Yeah. And I was like, okay, we'll go there and get dinner. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we close on Sundays and Mondays. And yeah. then um, every other day we are open till 7.30, except Wednesdays and Fridays. Since it's church night, we close at 6.30. Okay. Yeah. Saturdays we are open until 5. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you guys do anything for like Thanksgiving? Like, do you have like, like, um, do you make like tamales? Or... Um, I know last year we did, but this year I think we're only taking pre orders for our sopapilla, um, a sheet cake, and then we're gonna sell the berry meat from Mount. Oh, okay. Um, your sauces, we have red and green, should I go? You can get one of each. Mm -hmm. Try it. Alright, go ahead and get a couple of minutes, okay? Sounds good. Should I get the baby? I'm gonna be able to give you the whole 360. She used to owe me 350 from a. So how are you ever gonna get caught back up? Seen the uh, apparently kid?
apparently. Did she get cancelled? She like 18 years. I thought I thought she got canceled because she treats everyone like shit. Well, they tried to do that, but it was already her last year anyway. Nice to have money where you don't have to think about food, right? And don't have to think about rent. That would be great. If everybody just had their rent and their food oh. taken care of. The problem with that is, man, people need incentives. It's like it's it's very difficult to just motivate yourself if you've got your food and your rent taken yeah. care of and you know yeah. your yeah. intent was easy. What about your memory? It's your memory. Apple.
Have you ever seen the one that's uh, and I'm the asshole? Like my kid's throwing a fit because I won't let him play with the butcher knife and I'm the asshole. My kid's crying because he won't, I won't let him stab his sister with a pen, but I'm the asshole. I forgot there's no turn lane. I forgot there's no turn lane. Oh, I thought he was going to turn right. Left. 